Hey everybody, welcome back to my Anime Rat channel, Geez Anime. Today we're going to be watching Demon Slayer Season 2, Episode 7. Last episode we left off with Tanjiro going all out against Daki to the point where he almost killed himself because he forgot to breathe because he was so intensely focused on killing her that he just wasn't thinking about anything else. And... I guess he had some kind of safety measure set up in his head to where if he was in like immediate danger, his the younger sister would just pop up and tell him, you know, hey, look, you need to breathe, you're, you're in trouble or something to that effect. Because we see her in like a, a vision to tell him to breathe. So either she's reaching out from the other side or he has like a safety measure set up. But in any case, he falls to the ground because he's in such immense pain because he's been taxing his body so hard to even use any of the moves that he did because Doc, you mentioned, you know, some of these things that he's doing are unnatural. And she says, are you even human? Do you feel pain? So, yeah, he feels pain and he's, he's getting waves of it right now so much to the point where he passes out and then jumps in Nezuko kicking half of Doki's head clean off and Doki starts to get the better of her but then we see that Nezuko's regenerative abilities are on par with the uppers so we don't know how good if they can improve at all over a period of time how it's even possible since she hasn't been eating people um, what the source of her power is, if it's like rage or if it's like the love and concern for like her family, you know, like Tanjiro or people in general. Because again, she is under that uh, Gaius or spell that the former Hashira put her under. So we're not sure or I'm not sure if that has anything to do with it, but it could. But then we see her evolve age. Like she looks like she aged 10 10, 15 years, she's bigger, more developed, she's grown a horn, she's got like these flowery tattoos that just came out of nowhere all over her body. So I'm not sure what they signify other than a transformation of some kind. But we'll see more detail into that in this fight, that's for sure. Because things are just now starting to really ramp up. At some point in this episode, I'm pretty sure that Tengen and the others are going to show up as well. Not sure if Nezuko is going to be able to finish this one off by herself or if they'll have to jump in in any ways to, you know, finish things off. But with that said, let's get on to this episode, see what happens, and I'll see you there. Alright everybody, here we go. Just a little before her transformation. Also, this episode is called Transformation, so maybe we'll get a little more depth into Nezuko's abilities. Or maybe Doki will further transform. What the hell was that? Doki does look incredibly shocked, though. That's for sure. Also, I'm wondering if any of that hurts at all. Like, I, apparently Doki's in pain, but like, does Nezuko feel it when her body gets chopped in half? Oh, that is the one she chopped off. Wow, she is like crushed. Okay, Nezuko's losing it. Snap out of it! It really did look like the other leg was still hacked off, though. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. Yeah, she's like becoming a demon, an actual demon. She cut off her head. Can demons kill demons? Like that? Like, can they... Oh, the blood. I guess her blood is still attached, maybe? What the hell? Yeah, the blood is holding it together. Oh my gosh, her blood demon art. Oh, so Doki does have a weakness and a fear. Uh, she remembers her former life. She got burned. Wow, that is intense. This is not our Nezuko. 
Notice how she's still not talking either during this fight. You're like, how is it the other demons can talk but Nezuko doesn't? What's going on with that? I've never understood why Nezuko doesn't say anything. I have no idea. Her strength is absurd. She kicked her like through three or four walls. Okay, she's getting pretty tired herself. Oh, is the guy is... Yeah, she just hurt her on accident, but she still hurt her. Is that going to have any effect at all from your back? Looks like somebody's got a wrong opinion. Definitely slowed her down. Oh, she's thinking about eating her. Tanjiro needs to hurry up and get in there. She was actually giving in. You didn't make him fight. She chose to fight. She's the one that jumped in there and kicked girl's head clean off. Isn't she healed though? I mean, she completely regenerated. What healing is he talking about? Doki's definitely seen better days. I wonder why she hasn't regenerated yet from that. Okay. I guess it's because it's burned flesh. Okay, now is a good time for Tengen and the others to pop in. Any minute now. I mean, he's the only one keeping Nezuko from ripping her to shreds. She should figure out now that she can't beat Nezuko. There we go. And if you, she was having that much trouble with Tanjiro and Nezuko, Tengen's just gonna annihilate the shit out of her. Are you sure about that? I see she's becoming a flashy demon. I wouldn't call that flashy. More like violent. <laughs> Shut up, I'm not talking to you. Get lost? You're no upper rank. What are you talking about? He already killed her when he came in? Holy shit! What? He slashed off her head the moment he jumped in and slashed all the ribbons as well. But I kept saying upper six, so she's not the upper six? That they She's not the upper? I mean, that would make sense since Tanjiro and Nezuko were able to stand to, against her that she wasn't an upper, but that's weird. Mountain God, Lauren, and Osuke. No, this guy's ego. He's still funny, though. That's incredible. Yeah. Yeah, the upper's still around. So whoever they're looking for hasn't shown up yet. And I'm guessing that's the brother. Is Inetsu going to come in and calm her down? That would be so funny. Is there a lullaby that mom's saying to her? Yeah, that's not very good singing, bro. Maybe you should try a little harder. Something's happening now. There we go. There we go. That's the singing we need. I'm telling you, Tanjiro might be a good fighter, but he's not a good singer. I have no idea what this song is supposed to mean, though. Well, then why is yours pink, then? Well, there's something I never expected to see. Even in her demon form, a demon crying. Like, that's probably extremely rare. So sad. Oh, wow, she reverted way back to a little form. That's the cutest fucking thing I've ever seen in my entire life. So she's able to transform into an extremely powerful demon, but she can't control it. That's not good. If she could control that, it'd be incredible. Why isn't she dead? That is an excellent question. Hello, look at these people watching this girl talk without a head. That's got to be traumatizing. I'm 
I'm really about. Look at her have like a little tantrum tantrum. Oh my gosh, she's crying too. But she's crying out of like shame and embarrassment. So she really is an upper. She's just weak compared to Tengen. So he's just not listening. <laughs> she's throwing a tantrum. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Why isn't her body disintegrating? She should be nothing but ash right now. And here we go. Okay, here he comes. I just wanted to do a little announcement that I am going to be doing a figure giveaway at 500 subscribers for a Super Masters Diorama 2 Trunks and Vegeta figure. It's over 9,000! Hope you enjoy it. Um, as a show of appreciation for the support that everybody's been giving me, all the comments everybody's been leaving, all the love from the anime community that I've been shown, I'm hoping to continue with what I'm doing and just to get better as I go to make the experience more enjoyable for everybody so that I can earn that sub from you. And like I said, at 500 subscribers, I will be doing a giveaway for this figure. It is unopened, as you can see. Wow. So if you want to win that, then subscribe and just make sure that you're over 18 years of age and you live within the US because I don't know if I could afford the shipping outside. Like I said though, with that said, uh, I appreciate all the support I've been given. Thank you very much, and I will see you all next time. So you gotta probably kill them both at the same time? She's a part, or he's a part of her. They're like twins? Is he like the sash? That's kind of creepy. He healed her. Whoa, he cut Tengen. Wow, he looks pretty tragic. But I've seen pictures of him. He looks a lot better than that. So I don't know if this is like just a weakened state. Since he just emerged from her back or what. He must get tons of attention from the ladies. Well, he does have three wives, so there's that. Look at her sit here and whine and cry. Because she couldn't kill them herself. They ganged up on me and bullied me. <laughs> she was doing her best with what little brain she has. Oh, that's kind of rude too, man. <laughs> degrading your sister like that. That's not cool. He does do a lot of talking, though. There's a bunch of monologuing going on here. Oh, they're coming straight for you, bro. Oh, okay, I thought they were hitting for him. Like, they automatically knew he was there. Yeah, they're definitely going to need the others. Sinetsu and Inosuke to show up as well. <laughs> Inosuke has arrived. Obviously, he's asleep. He's better off asleep. He's trying to be flashy like Tengen. I get it now. Hey, everybody. If you're enjoying the reaction so far, I'd really appreciate it if you would hit that sub button down below. Leave a comment in the comment section. Hit that like button. And catch me tomorrow for Sabako Bisco. An interesting series, to say the least. <laughs> Did you say you had three wives? He's making him even madder. Okay. So now he's going to go all out against Tengen? What was that? Alright, is Inosuke going to jump in now? We kind of need them. To help out a little bit. This guy is proving himself to be one hell of a problem. 
You probably have to decapitate both of them or him? Yeah. That's what I was saying. Both of them. This is what I call one hell of a boss battle, though. Why these two idiots are still not up there helping? Like, they're, like, literally 20 feet away, and they're just standing there. Yeah, I kind of gathered that. Alright, everybody, and that was the episode, and it was a pretty intense one. We have, at the beginning, Nezuko beating the shit out of Doki, and just manhandling her. Um, no matter what Doki seems to be, have done against her, you know, Nezuko was able to just counter it incredibly easily. Like, when she severed off all her limbs and Nezuko's blood was just holding her together because she severed off her head. So her blood holding her together, like her head attached to her body, is what kept her alive. Because without that, I don't think Nezuko would be alive at the moment. But we also get that Nezuko's allowing her demon self to to take over like she's completely lost it to the point where she's having like a sadistic kind of fun toying with Doki crushing her into the ground you know just pummeling her using her demon blood art to incinerate her to the point where she said she couldn't even heal from that really quickly like it looked like it was going to take her a while to heal from that so that's going on and Tanjiro wakes up and goes to try to calm her down and as he's doing so, Tengen shows up and just slashes all of the ribbons to pieces and severs off Doggy's head. Because he's like, look, you're not the one I'm looking for. You're weak. I've already severed off your head. It's, it's like laying in her lap now. And we come to find out that that's not really the case. She herself might be weak. But she has like a Siamese twin or a conjoined twin or something to that effect attached to to her, which is why she didn't die when Tengen severed off her head, because apparently you have to kill both of them at the same time. So this is definitely going to be a joint effort, because it's taking all Tengen can do to even keep the brother in check, let alone Doki as well. If she were to actually join the fray and start fighting back as well, he'd be in a whole lot of hurt, I think. So we need the others to basically come in and help. And Osuke and Zanetsu, Tanjiro as well, but I feel like Tanjiro's had his spotlight for the day, and he's severely wounded as well, so I'm not sure how much he can help at the moment. But it's obvious that he's not going to be able to do it by himself. So with that said, let me know what you all thought of this episode. Let me know what you all thought of Nezuko losing control of herself, how that made you all feel. It really, it seemed like a really emotional moment for the both of them, not just Nezuko. And with that said, though, I will catch you all next time.